I really noticed the issue of women and girls not being taken seriously in tech and coding careers when I went through that myself at ESPN. I was the only black woman in a 300, 400 person department. It got to the point where I was actually building and coding algorithms for the company and those projects were taken away from me and, and given to um, other males on my team. are among the fastest growing, highest paying in our economy. When you look at the data, women make up only 25% roughly of the computing industry. And for Black and Latina women, that number is about 5%. Our young women, especially our young women of color, are among the most resilient and capable and sometimes not always afforded the same opportunities. We think this is a huge equity issue. harder when we have these young women who have quote unquote made it, who are phenomenal and aren't being hired by these companies. When we do a study of our alums and then they tell us that 50% of them experience harassment or know a woman who did just applying for an internship. Some of them were as young as 19. We surveyed our alums and 30% of them told us that they had lost their internships. 40% of the young women said they were still looking for full-time work and were inundated with stories about major companies that are perpetuating all the you know, inequalities that exist in our country for profit. And let's be honest about the kinds of tech leaders we see all the time, right? It's more often than not men, greedy, <laughs> ego-driven, wasting valuable resources on their own wins instead of giving back to the country. see so many women not being retained even in the engineering system or in these tech companies. I think part of that problem is getting more female engineers to become teachers and getting more female engineers in the first place. That sort of, you know, issue is contributing towards, you know, there being less of a female culture in STEM and in technical roles and in tech companies. Because of that, you know, women don't have the support structure that they need to be able to stay within those companies and to feel like they're heard or understood or related to. In terms of our movement building work, we also are looking to engage our male allies so that they're also you know, stamping out stereotypes that are negative about women in tech. Girls Who Code will be happy when we see more women who look like me in the senior ranks of leadership. We all have to have a collective approach to changing the notion of who belongs in tech. Because tech currently doesn't look like the communities we come from, and we are absolutely committed to changing that. Mm -hmm.